The tale of a great flood is a timeless thread woven through human history. These stories have been shared and reshared, evolving with each generation as every culture adds its own flavor to the narrative. Across the world, cultures recount epic floods that transform the earth. From ancient Sumerians to Greeks, from Chinese legends to the lore of indigenous peoples in the Americas, these stories share strikingly similar themes. Often, these myths serve as powerful reminders of nature's might and the need to live in harmony with our environment. They teach us about the fragile balance between humanity and nature, a balance that, when disturbed, can lead to disaster. These stories delve into themes of divine anger, human endurance, and the hope for renewal. In many versions, a higher power sends the flood as punishment, but it also acts as a cleansing force, setting the stage for a fresh start. From the Americas to Australia, flood myths captivate our imagination. They reflect our ancestors' efforts to understand and explain their world, to make sense of the forces that shape their lives. These tales highlight a shared experience of living in a world where water is both life-giving and destructive. Essential for survival, water can also be a powerful force capable of erasing entire civilizations. Passed down through generations, these stories offer insights into the beliefs and values of ancient societies. They reveal how our ancestors viewed their relationship with nature and the divine and how they aim to pass these lessons to future generations. The widespread presence of flood myths points to a shared human experience. Despite vast distances and cultural differences, these stories underscore our common humanity and our collective vulnerability to nature's forces. Perhaps these stories were born from real catastrophic floods that ancient civilizations endured. Archaeological evidence suggests many ancient societies faced significant flooding which could have inspired these enduring myths. Or maybe they reflect a universal fear of the unknown and nature's destructive power. Flood myths tap into a primal fear deep within us all, a fear of being overwhelmed by forces beyond our control. Whatever their origins, flood myths continue to captivate and inspire us today. They remind us of our shared past, our common struggles, and our ongoing quest to understand the world. These ancient stories, though rooted in the past, still resonate in our modern world, offering timeless lessons about resilience, renewal, and the power of nature. In the heart of ancient Mesopotamia, nestled between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, lay Sumer, one of the world's first civilizations. This fertile crescent, often referred to as the cradle of civilization, was home to a people whose innovations and stories have echoed through the ages. The Sumerians left behind a rich legacy of myths and legends, including the epic tale of Zeusudra and the Great Flood. These stories were inscribed on cuneiform tablets, the earliest known form of writing, and have provided invaluable insights into the beliefs and values of this ancient culture. Zeusudra, a pious king is warned by the god Enki of an impending flood that will destroy all life. Enki, known as the god of water, wisdom and creation, chose Zeusudra for his unwavering devotion and righteousness. Enki instructs Zeusudra to build a large boat, a kind of ark to save himself, his family and animals of every kind. The construction of this ark was no small feat requiring immense effort and resources and it stood as a testament to Zeusudra's faith and determination. The flood comes as predicted, unleashing chaos upon the earth. Torrential rains and rising waters engulf the land, sweeping away cities and lives in a cataclysmic event that seemed to signal the end of the world. After many days, the waters recede and Zeusudra's ark comes to rest on a mountaintop. The sight of dry land brings hope and relief to the survivors, marking the beginning of a new chapter in their lives. Zeusudra offers sacrifices to the gods, expressing gratitude for his survival. These rituals were deeply symbolic, representing a renewal of the bond between humanity and the divine. He is granted immortality and becomes the guardian of the new world. This divine favor bestowed upon Zeusudra elevated him to a status beyond that of a mere mortal, ensuring his place in the annals of history. The story of Zeusudra bears a striking resemblance to the biblical account of Noah's Ark. Both narratives share core elements that have intrigued scholars and theologians for centuries. Both narratives feature a righteous man chosen to survive a divine deluge. This chosen individual is tasked with preserving life and ensuring the continuity of creation. Both involve the construction of an ark to preserve life. 
The Ark, a vessel of salvation, symbolizes hope and resilience in the face of overwhelming odds, and both culminate in a covenant between God or gods and humanity. These covenants represent a promise of protection and a commitment to uphold the divine order. The similarities between these two ancient flood myths have sparked much debate and speculation. Scholars have pondered whether these stories share a common origin or if they are independent reflections of a shared human experience. Were they simply parallel expressions of a universal human experience? Flood myths appear in many cultures around the world, suggesting a deep-seated archetype in the human psyche. Or could there be a deeper connection, a shared origin lost to the mists of time? The quest to uncover the truth behind these ancient stories continues, as each discovery brings us closer to understanding the echoes of a familiar tale that has shaped human history. The Sumerian flood myth is deeply intertwined with the city of Uruk, a bustling metropolis that played a pivotal role in Mesopotamian history. This ancient city, often considered one of the cradles of civilization, was a beacon of human ingenuity and resilience. Its streets were filled with merchants, artisans and scholars, all contributing to a vibrant and dynamic society. Uruk was not just a center of political power, but also a hub of cultural and religious innovation. The city was a melting pot of ideas and traditions, where the exchange of knowledge and beliefs flourished. Religious ceremonies and cultural festivals were a common sight, reflecting the deep spiritual life of its inhabitants. The city was home to impressive ziggurats, towering temples dedicated to the Sumerian gods. These monumental structures were not only places of worship, but also served as centers of community life. The ziggurats stood as a testament to the architectural prowess and religious devotion of the Sumerians. It was within the walls of Uruk that the art of writing was developed, allowing the Sumerians to record their history, beliefs, and of course, their myths. The invention of cuneiform writing marked a significant milestone in human history, enabling the documentation of complex ideas and stories. These clay tablets have provided invaluable insights into the lives and thoughts of the ancient Sumerians. The epic tale of Gilgamesh, the legendary king of Uruk, is intrinsically linked to the flood narrative. This story, one of the earliest known literary works, explores themes of heroism, friendship and the quest for immortality. Gilgamesh's adventures and his search for eternal life have captivated audiences for millennia. In his quest for immortality, Gilgamesh seeks out Utnapishtim, the Sumerian equivalent of Noah, who survived the Great Flood and was granted eternal life. Utnapishtim's story parallels many flood myths found in various cultures, highlighting the universal human fascination with the idea of a great deluge and the hope for renewal and rebirth. Utnapishtim recounts the events of the Flood, providing a detailed account of the destruction and the subsequent renewal of life. His narrative serves as a reminder of the fragility of human existence and the enduring hope for survival and regeneration. The Flood myth, with its themes of destruction and renewal, continues to resonate with people across different cultures and eras. Uruk serves as a tangible link to the world of the Sumerian Flood myth. The ruins of this once great city offer a glimpse into the past, revealing the ingenuity and resilience of its inhabitants. Archaeological excavations have unearthed a wealth of artifacts, shedding light on the daily lives, beliefs and practices of the ancient Sumerians. Its ruins whisper tales of a civilization that grappled with the same existential questions that continue to resonate with us today. The story of Uruk and its people is a testament to the enduring human spirit and the quest for meaning in an ever-changing world. As we explore the remnants of this ancient city, we are reminded of our shared heritage and the timeless nature of human curiosity and resilience.